Terrifier is something that I have seen everywhere. People dressing like Art the Clown, posters, promotional stuff, trailers. I have just seen it non-stop. People have been talking about it. Genuinely, I wanted to know what it was. I hadn't checked it out, and I was like, okay, you know what, I'm going to give it a shot. And boy, oh my god, I'm kind of glad I did. This series, what the f***? is it best sums it up honestly before i go any further i'm gonna say spoiler alert now to anyone who hasn't seen the three main terrifier movies that's what i'm mainly going to be talking about first i want to start off by just talking about art the clown i find him to be really original and creative more so a mime than a clown i hope he doesn't hear me say that because then he'll scalp me but i really like his simplistic design even like whenever he pans his head to the side like his side profile he reminds me a lot of like a skexis like like some evil bird demon just simple stuff like that i love that he's very quiet he doesn't say a word that was one thing i was worried about because I, I didn't really know much about it seeing the pictures like i thought he was gonna talk like this or something <laughs> real stereotypical clown more so original which i really really liked i really like that he carries around a garbage bag full of weapons and it dawned on me like why doesn't anyone else do that i mean like yeah maybe now and again an occasional slasher will have like a tool belt with like an axe and a wrench or something on it but usually most of the time uh, a slasher villain is just carrying around one weapon art the clown has like 50 of them in a garbage bag which i find really funny and he's also kind of like a mixture of all the slasher villains and just movie villains in general that we all love he reminds me a lot of leatherface in some aspects but then freddy krueger and then of course pennywise but is kind of like the new face of horror slasher at least and i was wondering the other day when was the last time like a horror character broke the mainstream around the time of it being new i mean like chucky came back into the spotlight jason Voorhees, freddy krueger stuff like that but i want to say the last time a true horror character broke the mainstream was either annabelle the nun those are like cult followings but i would say like big mainstream would probably be Jigsaw, and it's been that long probably. I'm not trying to discredit Annabelle or The Nun or anything like that, I just feel like they haven't hit the big mainstream success that like Saw did when it came out. I feel like Terrifier is slowly making its way up there because everyone is starting to know about it. The first movie, there was really no story, it was just hack slash and show off gory effects, including like a woman hanging upside down and Art taking a saw to her and cutting the whole way down like art the clown just sawing her from her genitals to her head which was kind of shocking i kind of sat there like and it's funny because i don't react that way to movies or television as much anymore but all three terrifier films had a moment where i was like like oh shit the first one was kind of kind of pointless to be honest and then they killed off the main character what i thought was the main character very early on and then at one random point art just pulled out a gun and shot her <laughs> like dude what the f he had a gun strapped to him the whole time and the way the movie ended i thought was going to be like a clown magic party trick or something but then we, later we just find out that he's a demon i didn't really care for that at first at first i didn't like the fact that it was supernatural stuff but then as two and three kind of progressed i, I really started digging the style uh, the story that they were going for number two i really really liked was so overkill like him ripping off a woman's arm and then coming back with acid and salt and throwing it on her <laughs> then when he force fed that corpse mashed potatoes i lost my sh and I started laughing. I realized what I was watching was so horrific that it was funny. I probably looked like a psychopath in the movie theater last night when I saw Terrifier 3. I was laughing at every single kill because I'm like, it's so over the top and so overkill that it's funny. I will say the first movie reminded me a lot of Travis the Chimp. For those who don't know the Travis the Chimp story, I'll just briefly sum it up and say there was a chimpanzee that ripped off a woman's face and was eating her. Uh, body parts and she was disfigured permanently blinded and had skin grafted over her face the one character reminded me of the, like, the way her face was grafted and art was eating her reminded me a lot of travis the chimp which is kind of horrific honestly <sighs> terrifier 2 there was better story than the first one the first one was just hack and slash and fun and welcome to the the cineverse that is terrifier go back all hollow z but we're mainly just talking about the mainline 
uh, Terrifier movies here. I watched the first two back to back on the same night. You know, like the funny moments when like Art puts the sunglasses on the uh, the sunflower sunglasses. I also really liked in the first one when he was riding his trike around and he crashed it. Just stupid shit like that made Terrifier like really funny. But then the third movie, which I saw last night, was one of the most fucked up violent things I've ever seen in my whole life. I'm not even joking. My favorite horror movie of all time is actually Hellraiser 2, Hellbound. Those are really gory. Saw can get really girl, uh, go <laughs> gory. Gory. And movies like Cannibal Holocaust and stuff like that. No, Terrifier 3 was one of the most f violent things I have ever seen that I left the theater in shock with a smile on my face after I just laughing at like the two hours, two and a half hours of what I just witnessed. It was so brutal, so overkill, so disgusting and disturbing that I loved it. It was great. I, I must be a psychopath because I thought that it was great. No, not all aspects of it were like superb i felt like the scene deanna was dreaming and went downstairs to see art and victoria they just kind of jumped the story i feel like there was something missing right there i don't know what it was what it could have been but i was like oh we went from this and we kind of jumped to the end i really like the dream setups in two and three i thought they were really cool the uh the clown cafe is is instantly classic what i watched last night wasn't real like i wasn't actually viewing it i, I felt like it, it felt like a fever dream <laughs> was i think it was like everything i wanted in a horror movie i didn't know how to feel about it going in it knowing that it was a, a christmas horror movie i mean i, I like christmas horror stuff like uh, gremlins and santa's sleigh and of course uh the jack frost movies i feel like those are you know dumb cheesy fun and this was like took the Christmas horror trope and really took the formula and scrambled it. I can say about the Terrifier movies is each one gets better than the last, in my opinion. And I feel like that's what sequels are supposed to do. They're supposed to outdo the previous one. Really excited to see Terrifier 4, but f it left us on a cliffhanger that kind of pissed me off. In a movie like this, it kind of told this much. Funny story, whenever I went to see Terrifier 3, there was this lady in the front row of the theater with a bunch of kids. Who takes their kids to see Terrifier? And they left halfway through the movie. Did they think it was going to be like a cheesy little Christmas movie? But did they see the first two? I feel like I'm desensitized to it because it didn't bother me as much. There was one scene I gagged at. I can't do limb stuff because I've broken my arm before. I don't know if you can see the scar. This is where my bone pierced through the skin. So arm and leg stuff affects me more than anything. He hacked a dude's leg in the shower and then the guy tried to run away and his leg caved in on itself and I went, Dah! like I was straight up gagged. Oh my god, he took a chainsaw and you saw the guy's hairy ass cheeks as he <laughs> reamed the chainsaw up and down and his balls and dick were flopping. I'll talk about the endings of each one. First one ended with Art shooting himself in the head. He ended up in a morgue and he was back to life. The second one ended with Sienna killing Art only for him to be birthed out by the host, which was Victoria, which really liked the occult storytelling right there, like needing the vessel to come back into this world. It was very interesting to me. And then the third one, it ended with the niece Gabby going into the Presumably the pit of hell or the portal or something and art just Escaping which I did notice art bleeding on the bus afterwards. He had been weakened. I Really uh, liked that aspect of the character. That's something we haven't really seen I mean, He was still like art, but he, it was, there was a change in him. I really love that. He's a silent character He gets stabbed and he just goes Oh my god, I can't imagine if someone watches this and photoshops that. Um, what the segment? It's been a while since I've invested into a horror movie series that was like this. Really tired of like the ghost stories where it's like, oh, the house was haunted. Boo, jump scare. Uh, I'm so sorry if I scared anyone. For those who really wouldn't be able to stomach horror movies or like are afraid easily, this, this would legitimately be terrifying. 
I don't really know what else to say that was just kind of like raw thoughts. I mean, I could have done a review where I typed everything up and read it, but I feel like this is something I, I just genuinely wanted to get out and talk about. I would love to know your thoughts on Terrifier. I know a lot of people don't like it. They think it's overrated or they think it's too messed up and too gory or just isn't their style. So I'd like to hear your thoughts, whether you liked it, you loved it, or you really hated it. That's all I have for uh, my thoughts on Terrifier. And uh, my friends, I hope to see you again soon. <laughs> That's stupid as fuck. Why did I do that?